Last night, midnight, the witching hour. The night demons, they whispered to me and they said, James, sleep is not for you. How about instead you stay awake all night? Insomnia. And you know, since we're nice night demons, uh, here's a little something to keep you, keep you entertained while you're awake all night. How about a very long, perfect verbatim, perfect intonation, exact structure, line of dialogue from a film, but we will steal away from you the actor that says it, the plot surrounding this line of dialogue, and what movie it is. Have a good night. So I said unto the night demons, she has to be alive because that's the only way I can picture her. If I even start to think she might be maybe hurt, I get all twisted up inside. I, I can't think straight and I'm no good to her like that. And then I said that probably about 12,000 more times. 24 hours later, I was driving in my car, listening to Come On Eileen, and thinking about Maze Runner and Divergent, trying to figure out if it might be from one of those. And it fucking hit me like a meteor, a completely different era and genre. It is Crocodile Dundee 2. And I remembered that shit to the letter. She's still alive. How do you know that, man? Because that's the only way I can see her. I'll be here. But you can start to think she's hurt. My guts twist up. I can't think straight. I don't know how good to her. And I'd just like to say that Crocodile Dundee 2 does not get enough props for being an amazing movie. I've watched it dozens of times. It's two movies in one movie, which is like a treat. It's like you get the movie where they're in the city, and then you get the movie where they're in Australia. Plus, it has, like, all kinds of crazy awesome shit, and it has bats in it, real bats, and they're adorable. Adorable. And Mick is an amazing main character because he's emotional and he's a total fucking badass. And in that scene, he's not afraid to be vulnerable in front of his friend and let him know that he cares very deeply about another human being to the point that he almost can't, like, do shit because he's so upset that she might be hurt. And that is what makes an awesome person is someone that is not afraid to have emotions and kick people's asses.